All right, we know the holiday season's underway. There's a lot going on, but one thing you'll want to make sure that you know about and can't fall off your radar, open enrollment. And making sure you're signing up for the right thing can sometimes feel overwhelming. So Chanel Tate is a healthcare navigator with the Charlotte Center for Legal Advocacy. She's making it a lot easier for us this morning. How are you? Good, how are you this morning? I'm glad you're here because we literally were just having this conversation in our newsroom. It can be so complicated, overwhelming. You're almost like, which one do I pick? What do I do? Okay. I want to start with what the Charlotte Center for Legal, Legal Advocacy does. So we are a nonprofit organization that helps um, low income people um, and people of all different types throughout Charlotte um, find access to different programs, but specifically health insurance navigators help people find the best health care option for them. Um, whether that's through the health insurance marketplace or through Medicaid. All right, and there you specifically can help people in Cabarrus, Mecklenburg, and Union counties, but there are navigators all over the state, right? Yes, the North Carolina Navigator Consortium is all throughout the entire state. Very good. Now, one thing is that, of course, the open enrollment period just started. It was November 1st. Yes. I know this is a busy time <laughs> for you all. It is. We're specifically talking about two people who have maybe marketplace coverage at healthcare.gov, but also those who enroll in Medicaid. So where do we start um, when people are trying to access that particular coverage this fall? So the first thing would be to call a navigator to determine your eligibility. Um, there are different programs that exist um, with the marketplace and with Medicaid as well. So it's important to talk with the navigator to find out exactly where your family situation lies and then the well, navigator will help walk you through the application. And I saw something about there's been a lot more unauthorized signups. Yes. What does that mean? Like, is someone signing me up for health insurance that I'm not aware of? Or? Yeah, unfortunately, we have seen a lot of people fall victim to scams where people will call, you know, either pretending to be a broker or being a broker themselves and are signing people up who are not authorized to be on the marketplace or they're signing people up for plans or switching their plans without their consent. So then what do you do? Or if you find out, okay, I was not, I was signed up for this. I didn't sign up for this. How can that be fixed? Yeah. So if you go to your doctor's office and they tell you that you are enrolled in a plan that you don't recognize, immediately call a navigator. You can either go on our website or give us a call and schedule an appointment with us. So that way we can walk through what options you might have, either by canceling that plan or figuring out exactly who enrolled you in that plan without your consent. We know too that like 600,000 people became eligible for yes. Medicaid under the most recent expansion. That was of course on top of those already eligible. Uh, that is, that's a lot of folks. Yeah. So what does that look like for them just navigating this since that's new thing for them? Yeah, so actually this morning we just got notice that the Department of Health and Human Services just sent out um, 240,000 um, letters to 240,000 people telling them that they may be eligible for Medicaid expansion now. So navigators can also help you complete an application for expansion um, and all you have to do is just have it, income information information about your household size and structure and we'll walk you through the application that's wonderfully helpful this goes through January but we were talking to in addition to this a lot of companies are doing their open enrollment at the yeah. same time I think the thing that you want you're like how do I know that I picked the right thing that's gonna cover me and that it's not gonna cost an arm and a leg what yes. is your advice to people when they say that to you so one read your statement of benefits um, every health insurance plan includes one and it'll give you scenarios um, in which you may have to use your insurance such as giving birth breaking a leg managing uh, diabetes and then also making sure that your prescriptions and your providers are covered with the plan um, that is the most important thing to make sure that you're not getting hit with out-of-network costs or, or any more out-of-pocket costs than necessary. I know sometimes you see I'll have a copay, but then I won't have to pay more out over here exactly. and that sort of thing. It's a lot to walk through, but that's why you guys have navigators exactly. to look at that. So I want to put the information on the screen if you need that help uh, or if you want to learn more. Of course, again, this is the Charlotte Legal Advocacy Center. They have their website there, Instagram, uh, they're on X and on Facebook. Uh, you can follow along and obviously they can help you over the phone as well. So Chanel, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. All right, Kristen, over to you.